Welcome to our virtual assessment conference session. Institution-wide assessment is initiating an assessment coach strategy for supporting faculty and staff. I'm Linda Townsend, assessment coordinator with Longwood University's Office of Assessment and Institutional Research since October 2009. Joining me in this session are four Longwood faculty and staff who will be speaking on their assessment coach experience. Dale? Uh, my name is Dave Love. I'm Director of Landscape and Grounds for Facilities Management here at Longwood University. Hi, I'm Kim Redford. I'm the Director of User Support Services. I'm Dale Beach. I'm Assistant Professor in the Department of Biology and Environmental Sciences. Hi, I'm Jen Cox, Associate Director for Off-Campus Living for Residential and Commuter Life. With regional and professional accrediting bodies' emphasis on assessment improvement, what actions are being taken within higher education institutions to resolve these challenges faced in carrying out campus-wide assessment? How are institutions providing the continuous support needed by faculty and staff to more effectively assess their programs and services? At Longwood, assessment support has been provided by the Office of Assessment and Institutional Research's assessment coordinator through workshops, hands-on trainings, and one-on-one -on -one appointments. However, in order to continuously meet those diverse needs of faculty and staff, additional strategies were needed. The assessment coach approach was initiated at Longwood University as an individualized, sustainable strategy for institutional assessment support. The coaching approach can provide a means for one, collaborative and collegial professional development. Two, expertise in assessment writing and guided hands-on practice with assessment writing. And three, sustained and specific follow-up. In May 2012, faculty and staff with identified assessment experience and expertise became a part of this new initiative. Jen, why did you decide to become an assessment coach? Sure. Um, I have a variety of experience with assessment, working uh, with my department and with the division, and I was offered an opportunity and thought it would be a great way to collaborate and meet with more people throughout the division and throughout Longwood. Dale? Uh, initially, for me, it was uh, an opportunity to perform university service. Uh, I'm a new faculty member. This is my third year, and so uh, this was something that I could get involved with the campus, um, as well as meeting a lot of the, the faculty that were out there and learn more about the different departments on campus. Yeah. Sure. Um, when I was asked to become a coach, I was a little surprised because I had had um, a little bit of a long road in getting comfortable with assessment for my division. I was asked to head up the assessment efforts in IT some time ago. And so I had a lot of training, a lot of hands-on um, experience in trying to get familiar with the tools and understanding the process. Um, so I guess after all of that, the, the struggles and finally got to where I needed to be, it was um, just fitting for me to help others who were having those same struggles? Um, when I was uh, asked, which was interesting because I was relatively new to the university, uh, um, so it was a, a learning experience for me all the way around and a chance to meet a lot of people on the campus because I've only been here like a year. So, so Dale, would you tell us about uh, what previous assessment experience that you brought to this experience? Well, um, I have the, the questionable uh, uh, luck of being on three different campuses as they were approaching their regional um, accreditation. And so for each of these three different campuses, I was lucky enough, if you could put it that way, to uh, participate in a review of the assessment programs um, and uh, to begin new assessment in uh, different biology programs. And so uh, in coming into the coaching program, I had some sort of a, a diverse exposure to how different universities were doing it. Um, and the coaching opportunity gave me a chance to learn more about how Longwood was doing it and the different programs on campus. Anyone else like to share? Uh, I can talk about my, my experience. Is I've came from 26 years of military experience and uh, planning, and I also uh, worked 15 years in college administration. So I have a little bit of a broad background in, in dealing with assessments and. Uh, those areas, and uh, so it was uh, it was an all-around fit. I was a little bit new to Weave Online, but I worked on that, and I got got pretty good at it. Okay. The first step for the assessment coach approach was coach training. 
coaches participated in collaborative discussions on assessment report writing and coaching of faculty and staff and assisted in our summer assessment report writing workshops for our faculty and staff. So coaches, how did the coach training and workshops help to prepare you as an assessment coach? Kim? For me, probably the most helpful thing um, during our training was just sitting around a table as a group and taking a look at some different assessments, some mistakes, some common mistakes um, that were being made and just kind of talking through the best way to approach a unit who was having those, those struggles and making those mistakes and, and how to work through that. I would add on to what Kim said. I think for me it was an opportunity to go back to when I was new at the university and uh, when we had begun to implement Weave Online and remembering you know, the questions that I had and it gave us an opportunity to kind of go back to square one even though we were a little more well versed now and be able to prepare to answer those questions and maybe share our tips and tricks for how we were able to overcome any of those questions or concerns. After receiving their faculty staff assignment list, their next step was to make initial contact for setting up the method of support, whether they wanted to do face-to-face, -face, email, phone, or virtual. Thus began the coaching of faculty and staff as they reviewed the individual unit or program assessment reports and provided guidance and responded to questions that arose from the one-on-one -on -one discussions. If the coaches had questions or needs during this process, I was available for them as their support system. So coaches, for our audience, could you describe one experience of how you supported the faculty or staff with assessment of their unit or program? And David, let's start with you. Okay. Uh, the, one of the things that I found was uh, there's varying backgrounds uh, as far as everyone in the, in the university and how they approach this. and. Uh, one of the things I found out that, that some of the people were <laughs> approaching in a much different way than, than what I was used to. So uh, we used the, uh, the workshops that we had uh, to uh, get those people involved in that workshop and <coughs> learning more about how to actually do the Weave Online and, and you helping them. And, and uh, it worked out very well, I think. Um, again, reaching back to my experience and my um, initial experience with Weave Online, um, it was, there were some things in Weave Online that to me weren't very intuitive, so it was helpful for me to um, kind of give myself, make a, a tips and tricks um, sheet, if you will, for myself, um, and I was able to use that in working with the community and the, the areas that I was assigned to work with to just kind of give them um, just some really simple explanations as to what each area and what each piece of the process, what, what was actually being asked for. So as, as elementary as that sounds, it was very helpful for me, and I feel like it was pretty helpful for the entities that I worked with as well. Well, uh, after our first training, and we had our first opportunity to meet the, uh, the, the folks that we were going to be working with that we were coaching, I found that a number of people had never done assessment before. They were new to their department and had this as a new assignment. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, sort of, of my biggest thing was working with some of those people just to get them up and running on the idea of assessment. Uh, working through um, not so much Weave as a, a software tool, but the different elements of Weave that had to be addressed in the assessment program, um, and how uh, uh, the the Longwood standard of writing for the different components would be in terms of how targets were were, to, uh, were written to be more parallel with the rest of the, the campus. Similar to Dale, I would say it was really critical for me to go through each entity's assessment report and then meet one-on-one -on -one with whoever that assessment coordinator was as an opportunity to individually um, spend time with them to work through their questions, help answer them, whether it was questions about software or just questions about you know, where we're going and what the vision is and helping them through that. And I found the one-on-one -on -one meetings to be the most beneficial. As with any new initiative, there may be things that work well the first time and elements that could be improved upon for the future implement implementation. So what do you all believe went well this summer and what do you believe could be improved upon for continuing the assessment coach strategy? Jen? Um, I really enjoyed um, all of us having an opportunity to come together and to meet as a large group to do the initial kickoff. I also really appreciated, as I mentioned before, those one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, I thought it gave 
all of our various uh, areas in the university someone that they could use as a contact as they continued on. And I know a few of those that I helped this past summer have actually contacted me this year as they're working on this year's assessment tools. So it gave them yet another resource to go to. Um, I found that um, I could provide a, an alternative set of eyes and an alternative approach for a lot of the different departments that I was working with. Um, and just to, to bring in um, an independent uh, look at how their assessment program was set up, how they were assessing students, and what their different outcomes were, were showing, um, and different ways that they could look at that and, and think about their assessment programs. Um, and so I, I feel that, that generally um, I could provide that outside influence sort of <clears throat> to provide them uh, greater insight into how they could improve their programs. Kim or David? I agree with Dale. It, it gave me a, a, a good opportunity to go out and, and meet other people and also look at their operation from a different uh, different set of eyes and I think that helped in some areas um, and it also gave me a different perspective on what was going on at the university as well. So I think overall it was a very good learning experience. Any thoughts for next year's improvement or changes that we could work on? Yeah, when I worked with um, some of my departments uh, or individuals who hadn't been to the initial training in the summertime, uh, they were rather surprised to see that somebody was working on their assessment tools. And in many cases, that was sort of a taboo subject that somebody else would be looking at their materials. And so I think uh, much more communication up front, direct contact from the administration about this as a program uh, and introducing the, the coaches would probably be really good. Uh, kind of hand-holding hand um, event to really make sure that everyone was up to speed on what the coaches were actually doing and that it wasn't very invasive, or it wasn't meant to be invasive at least. Not only can the assessment coach model be beneficial for continuous, collaborative, and individualized assessment support, it also can engage faculty and staff in service and leadership roles as coaches. Taking on the role as assessment coach has led to new leadership roles for several of our coaches. And one of our coaches has recently obtained a position at the University of Georgia that includes assessment responsibility. In her interview, she said questions were asked about her assessment coach experience at Longwood. So coaches, why do you believe faculty and staff, other faculty and staff should consider becoming assessment coaches? For me, I was, I was learning as I was teaching. So as I was going through the process and looking at other assessments um, from other areas, um, there's always something else and something new that I can learn and new insight in looking at um, you know, my own assessment and the assessment that I'm responsible for for my area. So for me, it was, it was as much of an um, enlightening experience and I learned as I went um, new things and new tricks and new, new tools from the areas that I was helping. So for me, it was, it was just a little bit more experience for my own assessment that I'm responsible. Uh, from an academic point of view, I found it very enlightening, um, again, learning a lot about how the different departments were performing, how they were doing their assessments, those kinds of things, um, in terms of, of, of being the coach and the evaluator. But another aspect of the learning that I had was being able to see how different groups evaluated their students. So looking at different people's rubrics, uh, looking at how they used different um, instruments to define um, assessment. In other words, can a survey be used? Can, can a specific exam from a specific course be used? And so I can bring that back to my department um, because I've seen these other, uh, these other examples. Um, and uh, since we are, uh, the Bartlett Department is in the middle of doing a curriculum review, these are things that we can bring in and think about in terms of, of developing the curriculum, but also implementing the assessment for the curriculum as we develop it. Um, I think as an assessment coach, and I think the other coaches would agree, we got an opportunity to realize all the other things that are going on at the university that we didn't necessarily know about. Um, as I was reading through assessment reports, I would be amazed about some of the things that uh, various divisions and departments were doing. and. Um, just learning about what they had been doing and how many years they've been tracking certain data or new programs they were trying to implement. It was just really interesting because, you know, I didn't always necessarily know about some of those programs or um, some of those rubrics and things that had been created. So I got to learn a lot about other pieces of the university and really getting a broader view of everything that's happening at Longwood. I, I believe that uh, it was a, a very learning experience for from learning about all other operations, but also 
just meeting new people and, and uh, getting to learn the uh, all the Longwood people. Uh, it was a very beneficial uh, experience as far as I'm concerned on that. Okay. Well, thank you all for pioneering the implementation of the assessment coach strategy at Longwood. The Office of Assessment and Institutional Research looks forward to continuing this strategy in spring 2013 and hopes that more faculty and staff will consider becoming a part of the assessment coach team. Thank you for taking the time to view our session and hope you have gained a better understanding of the assessment coach strategy. Please post any questions you have for our assessment coaches or for me, and we will respond to you this week through the Longwood University Virtual Assessment Conference blog.